So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about Pedro Goncalves. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who that is, that was the guy who scored from the halfway line against Aaron Ramsdale in the Europa League. Uh, that is the guy. Uh, but now, called into Portuguese media, Arteta is a keen admirer of the midfield maestro who's got so many goal contributions this season. We might as well just bid the 69 million release clause. Uh, anyway, we're going to get into talking about that in a second. <laughs> make sure you smash the like button, people. Uh, make sure you are uh, smashing the likes, sharing the content, and uh, subbing to the channel. Lee reacts as well. The video about Messi is out. Uh, a video about Neymar uh, will be out as well. And uh, I'll have a video on here, back on here later on this evening, talking about... Um, Thomas Party and Jorginho may be leaving the football club. Uh, check out the video on here about Declan Rice I dropped earlier today. Uh, that looks like it could be happening. But uh, this Pedro Goncalves guy, um, let's read this article out. Let's read this out. Um, 24-year-old had a tremendous 22-23 season with the Primera Liga outfit, bagging 20 goals and 15 assists in 51 games. Two of those goal contributions came against Arsenal in the Europa League last 16 that Sporting won on penalties. His won the goal from the halfway line at the Emirates paved the way for the Gunners' exit from the competition. It's now reported by O Jogo, which is the Portuguese media, uh, a creative midfielder is a target for Arsenal. But why? We have the creative spark already in Gibraltar guard. Uh, <laughs> Mikel Arteta is an admirer of the Portuguese. Uh, Gon Calves, who is on the radar. What radar is it? Beep, 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 beep. What kind of is on the radar? They use big words, didn't they? Uh, of Aston Villa and Newcastle United with an 80 million euro, which is 69 million pounds, release clause in his contract. The Portuguese has the ability to play in multiple roles. Oh, yes. He is versatile. <laughs> he has had equal success from the right wing, left wing, a number eight position. Hence, he would be a good acquisition for the Gunners this summer. Where does this leave Fabio Vieira, I hear you cry? Uh, at the moment, Arsenal are focused on pursuing a deal for Declan Rice, but the England international is a defensive midfielder by trade. Um, he could be seen as a replacement for Thomas Partey. No, he's not. He's going to be the Granite Xhaka replacement, my friend. And he's not, by trade, a defensive midfielder. He's an all-rounded midfielder. Anyway, uh, Goncalves would fit perfectly as Granit Xhaka's successor. Completed 81% of his passes in the recent campaign while winning nearly two tackles and 4.4 duels per appearance. Nobody cares. Um, Goncalves may need to improve his overall distribution, but could make up for it with his regular goal contributions. Yay! Uh, the 24-year-old has been Sporting's main creative force since Bruno Fernandes left the club. He could now be tempted to move to the Premier League. Arsenal should look to negotiate a lesser fee up front with the performance add-ons. Uh, that's just the story that some Muppets made up. Let's just be real with it. Um, I don't believe that that guy is coming to Arsenal. I don't believe that we're looking at a creative spark in midfield. Um, I don't believe that this guy is going to go to a top Premier League team. I just don't see it. Generally don't see it. And for, not for 69 million. Nah, I don't believe the story one bit. But listen, he is a very good footballer. We see that when we uh, when we played against them. Um, they literally walked through our midfield with ease. Yeah, with absolute ease. And his goal was one of the goals of the season. Yeah, it was a fantastic goal. But listen, we know that we're getting midfielders. We know that we're going to be trying to get midfielders at least. And um, Fabrizio has been putting it out there that we will be getting multiple midfielders depending on the outgoings. Now, the outgoings depends on what money we get because this club has a track history of not being able to sell players properly. I'm doing a video later about Party and Jorginho, so I won't say too much about them. But Sambi Lukonga, how much are we going to get for Sambi? Who's going to buy him? Sambi Lukonga couldn't even get a game at Palace. How much are we actually genuinely going to get for him? Mohamed Elneny, is still at this football club on a new contract. Why? Oh, yes, because this club gave him a new contract because they want to make him a coach because this is all 
part of the Arsenal family. The fuck are you talking about Arsenal family? Yeah, this is an elite level football club, apparently. So start acting like it. Yeah, the fact and reality is we need a lot of money to be spent this summer. Whether this guy comes or not, it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, the story's out there. He's maybe trying to get a new deal or a better club or whatever, whatever. Nobody cares. Yeah, the fact is, I don't think we're even looking at him. Although it would make sense. He is Portuguese and uh, Edu, Edu with the connections and all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? With the Portuguese speakers. But we see last time we bought a player from that league. Yeah, 35 million, Fabio Vieira. Liverpool just bought Alexis McAllister for the same price. It's actually staggering. It's unbelievable. It's like night and day, the difference in the two players. And listen, I'm, I think that the Portuguese league is a very technically gifted league. They're very good on the ball, these Portuguese players. But this is not the Portuguese league. It is the Premier League. And you can be technically good on the ball all you like. Can you come in and do a job in the Premier League? And so far, we've seen Fabio Vieira. And I still see these little feminine boys all over the internet. Oh, a big season next season for Fabio. He just needs a pre-season and he will flourish. These are the same idiots that sat there and said Smith Rowe will flourish this season. And I said, no, he won't. And he'll have a crap season. What do I know? What do I know? I mean, my ball knowledge is in the mud, mate. What do I know? So, yeah, it is what it is. But um, I don't see us buying anyone from that league genuinely this summer. Not a single player will sign for Arsenal from that league. Um, we need to get rid of Fabio Vieira. We need to get rid of a few other midfielders, Sam Lekonga, etc. But the fact that we're trying to go all out for Declan Rice first is kind of worrying. We should be going for two, three players at the same time. Surely we can work on more than one deal at a time, right? Surely that is a thing. We see Chelsea sign about a billion players in January. So surely we're not just doing one deal, then going on to the next deal, then to the next. Surely that ain't how it's working, right? We need midfielders. We need a winger. So we need a defender as well. Left back, if Tierney leaves, we obviously need to get players out. Tierney's probably going to be one of them, sadly. But there's um, there's a lot of clubs that are kind of sat around waiting for other clubs to do business or to put bids in before they show their hand. So it's a bit of cat and mouse at the minute. Obviously, the window doesn't open officially until the 14th. But at the same time, there is clubs out there already doing business, Liverpool being one of them, Real Madrid with Jude Bellingham, Messi signed for Inter Miami, you know, PSG have signed a couple of players, Ugarte, um, Ugarte and uh, Asensio. Meanwhile, we're sat here not doing anything. We haven't got rid of anybody yet. We haven't got anybody in. Granite Xhaka's deal is on hold until we get the replacement. Again, that's concerning. I've said that. That makes me feel like we're not confident in getting the replacement. Otherwise, you'd just say, cool, go, mate, off you go. We have, what, until September to get a replacement. So you're telling me we can't get a replacement between now and September for Granite Xhaka? It's kind of a bit worrying to me. But um, let me know what your thoughts are on this Goncalves guy. I'm not going to sit and pretend I watch Portuguese football. So listen, from what I have seen of him, tidy little footballer, uh, looks decent, uh, scored a cracking goal against us. I expect nothing less than technical ability with Portuguese players. But... But, 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 69 million release clause, that is just a f the, the, he ain't going for 69 million. I don't think we'll even be in for him, if I'm honest. I just think this is a journalist putting this out there in Portugal. And then all the Arsenal fans are getting moist because they love a little hipster player, don't they? Um, but it is what it is. Uh, let me know your thoughts and feelings on that. Check out all of the videos on the channel that I have dropped today. Check out the Lee Reacts channel. Make sure you go and do that. Big up to everybody who's got that over 11,000 subs at the minute. Appreciate that. If you could sub to this one, let's push this channel up to 100k. We're going to have some new graphics going into the new season, some new backdrops and stuff like that as well. So, um, so yeah, man, uh, looking forward to it. But for now, it's time to rest, recuperate, recharge the batteries. It's going to be a big season. The Champions League, goosebumps at the carpet under the lights. So, yeah, let's see what we do. Let's see whether we're ready and prepped by the start of the season. Uh, no doubt we won't be, but it is what it is. Have a wonderful evening. I'll be back again later with Jorginho and Thomas Party video in the same video. Adios. Ciao.